lessons that I've learned through the process and, and through working with the various stakeholders that have come to the table is that the context matters and that where students are coming into the classroom is, is very important and making sure that staff uh, have the development that they need and the training they need and the coaching and support they need to support all of those young people in their classroom who are all coming to them in different places in their social emotional development, in their academic development, um, and helping to be sure that we're really intentional, that we're looking for growth of the individual student over time. We're not looking at, can you get your whole classroom um, to self-management goal two by the end of the term? And that it's really looking at individual students and, and looking at where some might need some additional support in areas and some might be able to support their peers in other areas. Um, and that knowing that without acknowledging culture and community and where students are coming from, we can unintentionally perpetuate oppression of our students with social emotional learning. And so making sure that our staff and our schools and our districts are really aware of that and what that means um, and that we're addressing some of the policies and, and practices in schools that can be inequitable for students and that we are really training and supporting our staff to be sure that we are able to take that into consideration as we're teaching our young people um, has been a key lesson and one of the most complicated um, parts of the guidance that we're trying to articulate in how to do that in a way that any district in the state could benefit from, but that is also going to best serve the youth of Minnesota.